Nina Persson rose to fame as the lead singer of Swedish pop group The Cardigans. She later released music with Side Project at Camp and is about to unveil her first solo album under her own name. She joins me now to talk all about it. Nina, great to have you here. Thank you. Uh, why you. now uh, for a solo album? Well, I guess it was about time. I've, I have put it off for a long time. I, I did. Uh, I did a record, the first one was in 2001, that could very well have been a solo record, because it pretty much, that's what it was. But I chose to call it a camp back then instead. I just felt like now I wasn't scared of it anymore. I, I still think my name sounds awfully, you know, plain and everyday, like it's weird to see it in a cool font, you know. But uh, it's also just, a, you know, very, it's, an, it's a good way to work. Does it make you feel any more vulnerable because your name's out there like that? No, that's, that's why I think it feels okay now, because I don't feel vulnerable about it anymore. You know, the title track is getting a lot of buzz, Animal Heart. I saw the video, it's great. Mm -hmm. How did that song come about? Like, we did a lot of songwriting, just sitting and playing, um, you know, jamming, you'd call it. <laughs> and suddenly we would sort of hear something that stuck. Uh, and we were really excited, because we had, I think we had thought that we wanted to write something, some disco. Uh, and this started to shape us that it's one of the earlier songs we wrote and then one song that started to feel like yeah this is getting good you know we started to feel like we had we were on a good, good track um so that was one when I, that i uh, got excited about early and started to sort of try to sell my record with <laughs> when <laughs> i started to try to get other people enthusiastic about it well you know a lot of people know you for the cardigans mm -hmm. love was so massive so huge i mean what do you remember about that time in your life most. Th that it was really funny because this, the song Love Fool was the first single from that one record, First Band on the Moon. And it came out and was, you know, a fairly well-doing single. And it blew up so big with that movie, um, Romeo and Juliet. And we, had, we shot a new video for the US market and it was just insane. And I remember being in New York actually at the time and I was really freaked out because there was a some huge store on like Fifth Avenue. I walked in just strolling like I did on my days off in New York and I was on a humongous like screen in that store and I was like, I just walked out because I was, it was so weird. So that was, uh, that was a, an odd time because it really changed things drastically for us. Sure, and you guys, you know, were playing for a while, you took a little bit of a break, but then mm -hmm. you kind of reconvened recently. What mm -hmm. was that like? Thanks it was really choice. nice because it had been a long time and we just weren't sure what was going to happen. Um, we were very adamant about not, you know, people like, uh, you know, talking about Cardigans being over. We were like, no, we're a band. We, we just don't make music <laughs> right now. But it was so good because we, we sort of really fell back in love a little bit. Uh, it was really pleasant and we got super inspired. Uh, do you think that you would reconvene for a new album or some new music at some point? That's the thing, that it, it was sort of unthinkable two years ago, but now we just enjoy everything so much and enjoy each other, so we're sort of excited. At least we're starting to, you know, it, it'd be interesting to try to figure out the logistics of getting together and making new music. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. Well, Nina, thanks so much for coming by today. Sure. Nina Person, her new album is called Animal Heart. For this and all things entertainment, stay with CBSNews.com.